Hello and welcome. Today we're going to make a few sundowner cocktails. For those of you who follow Proteus Yacht Charters on Facebook, you'll be familiar with our monthly posting of the sundowner of the month. My friend Phil Stone and I are going to do two videos on this topic, and this week we're going to make three cocktails, outline the recipes, and then do a taste test. So let's break it down. Welcome back. What is a sundowner? Well, it's a traditional drink that you enjoy usually in warmer climates at the end of a day's sailing in the cockpit prior to dinner, a sort of cocktail hour beverage. Each of these cocktails has been selected because their ingredients are easy to find, the recipes are basic, and are fully makeable on board of a boat. We suggest serving them to those assembled in the cockpit with some nuts and other snacks to whet the appetite prior to dinner. We also suggest you do this right before the sunset for maximum vista appreciation. Our first cocktail is called the Sea Breeze. The cocktail that's now known as the Sea Breeze was once called the Salty Dog and is one of the great nautical cocktails of our, on our list. You'll need vodka and both grapefruit juice and cranberry juice, ice and a lime wedge only. That's all you'll need to make this beverage. Each drink contains two parts vodka, three parts grapefruit juice, one part cranberry juice, and what you're going to do is fill a highball glass with ice cubes, add the ingredients, stir, garnish with a lime. That's it. This is a delicious and refreshing beverage, perfect for once you've settled into the cockpit after a stirring day's sailing. Many, many years ago when I ran a fairly large fleet of boats in the BVI, this was my after-work beverage of choice at the bar above the base. Very light, refreshing, and relatively good for you, or at least that's what I told myself. Our next sundowner we're going to make is called the El Presidente. Best after you moor and all you can hear around the anchorage is the peep of tree frogs calling from ashore. The El Presidente sets the scene of a bygone jazz era where linen suits were what gentlemen wore in tropical climates. There is an elegance to this drink that is not immediately apparent, but the understated finesse may have you making this back home as you sit outside and watch the sun fade over the garden fence. Here's what you'll need. Two ounces of light rum, Quality rum need only apply here. Three quarters of an ounce of vermouth, preferably French. A quarter of an ounce of grenadine. And what you're going to do is for the cocktail is stir all of the liquids, because shaking is a bit showy, in a martini shaker with plenty of ice. Using crushed ice is preferable, but as you'll be on a boat, you'll have to improvise. We recommend the Ziploc bag and saucepan method, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. Strain this delicious nectar into an ice cold martini glass and garnish with an orange peel. We use a vegetable peeler to get the orange peel garnish. It yields a peel strip quite wide and full of the all-important orange oils that will tint the cocktail with a very pleasant sophistication. And our third and final sundowner in this episode is an absolute classic, the French 75 cocktail. According to Wikipedia, the French 75 is a cocktail made from gin, champagne, lemon juice, and sugar. It's also called a 75 cocktail, or in French, simply a 75. The drink dates to World War I and an early form was created in 1915 at the New York Bar in Paris, later Harry's New York Bar, by barman Harry McElhone. The combination was said to have such a kick, and it felt like being shelled by the powerful French 75mm field gun. When you make this cocktail, you are allowed to channel your inner Tom Cruise from cocktail and shake the ingredients in a martini shaker. Here's what you'll need. Two ounces of gin, preferably a good one, one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice, two tablespoons of sugar, and champagne or sparkling wine. And remember the champagne cork stopper so that you can have the leftovers for breakfast. Garnish along with a thin lemon spiral and a cocktail cherry. So as promised, here is uh, Phil, my uh, guinea pig. He's gonna taste these in the order in which we made them, and then he's gonna rate them. So are you ready? I'm ready. Brace yourself, this one is the sea breeze. Wow. Mm. Okay, so you could see yourself after being in the Caribbean, sailing all day, yeah, maybe have one of those. Quite salty. Well, it used to be called the Salty Dog. Oh, aptly named. Yes, mm. all right, <laughs> so that's that one. This one is the El Presidente. This is the one which is going to probably rearrange your hair. Good uh, luck with that. El Presidente. El Presidente, Gosh. yes. It's a bit girly looking, isn't it? It is a little bit pink, yeah. yeah. Oh, smells good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that has uh, got a kick to it. Mm. 
as you can tell, he doesn't really like it that much. Mm. So he's going in for a second taste yeah, just to make still sure. Not sure, no. Not sure, not okay. Sure, yeah. Well, this is good. This is a good sign. Mm, that's nice. It's nice, okay. Mm. And the last one, this is called the uh, French 75. And this one is apparently, despite the fact that it's in a very feminine glass, going to really give you a kick. It's got so bubbles. It mm. does. It has uh, champagne in it. Oh, oh. So gin, champagne, the French, sugar, yeah. and lime. Oh, sounds good. <laughs> Unusual. <laughs> I expected something just but a little bit sweeter. Do you think reason. that if it's, it's the sort of drink that you go, ooh, when you first drink it and then two or three sips in... You think you could get into it, You yeah? could probably drink more. Yeah, yeah, it's still, it's, it's quite bitter. Mm. So, of these three, because what we're going to do is we're going to rate the three in this video, and then in our next video that we do for the next set of Sundowners, we're going to rate those three. Of these three, which is your favourite? I think that one. That one's got really? more of a, it's got a nice kick, but it's not too serious. Okay. Uh, that one didn't do much for me. And that's got a... This, that's a strange one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a bit of a, a bitter twang, right. which I wasn't sure about. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we'll keep these. Uh, we'll do the next set of three. And then we'll do all six back to back. Oh, great. Just to punish you properly. Lovely. I'll, I'll certainly be under the table by then. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up below. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you have any comments or video ideas, please leave them below. Phil and I will see you next Thursday with another great video. Bye.